Go going to England. We're talking about going to England. Jack had had a play on it there, Emmanuel Zock. I had played there. We didn't really know what was going on anywhere else. If you're going to know, you've got to. Right. So we'll go to England for a year with the three kids. Uh, well, we stayed ten years and came back with five children. But we, the '60s was an absolutely magnificent time to be in London. Every idea in the world passed through there. And there was, it was so exciting, the, the stage, I mean, you'd be work, I mean, there were just as many bad shows as there are anywhere else, but you'd get good ones with, you know, top people. I mean, it was, it was very exciting. Yep. Yep. Coming back from England, you came back in the 1970? Yep. So you came back to Canada after Expo when there seemed yep. to be a, a real yes. cultural and national exactly. push. We came, but we tried to get back every couple of years and we did get to Expo and that was such a success and everything. Um, coming back, CBC, which was all open and you just went and chatted to everybody and you know, what have you got today kind of thing. Well, that had all finished. And they had started to have uh, ads. And before, uh, well, when it started, of course, it was six to ten. It was four hours each evening for television and it was all very loose and easy but coming back it was all you know a business right. uh, so that was was different I did a um, while I was in England I had been working uh, with a woman there whose name absolutely escapes me and I don't have my notes uh, to hand because I was away um, but she had done children's theater and what we would do is get a, a group of kids, 10, well, probably 11 to 16, and, you know, what is important to them? Get them sitting there talking, and every idea that's put forward is a good one. Because, you know, some will say something, uh, no, that's great, you know, get them building. So, uh, okay, they take a theme, hate or war or bullying or whatever it is, and then you make a play about it. Um, I did three shows for the CBC here, which, I mean, it was quite astonishing. Uh, you get the feel of a country and a, the background that these kids come from. I was then uh, So you did three shows of the CBC with kids? With, with kids, that, and I did different schools. The same schools. idea, have the kids yeah. in a room. Have the kids in the room, bring a subject and, they, in. and they would see how it was all done, and you bring in scissors and paper and silver paper and all that kind of stuff, so that you uh, had everything there for them, and you sit down and, and you'd have perhaps uh, divided into six groups or whatever with a head of each group, but an older person as the head, not one of the kids, and then decide how, from the argument you've had on the floor, how it was going to And go. this is for them to create a play? Yes. Or to, to create a play? To and create a play, but to really <clears throat> look at that question that they have brought up, that they, right. it would be love, hate, I mean, they're all big themes, but really to look at that from different angles, from different aspects. Right. So they had you know, really. Um, I, I do know that when we were in England, we did some based on history. Well, you know, if you were playing um, whoever opposed Harold, whoever, the king lost, well, that kid doesn't want to lose, you know. Right, right. <laughs> so you have to say, no, you got to. And one gun goes off and 20 kids fall down, you know, <laughs> whatever. There's that kind of aspect to it, too. But um, it's, it's, a, it's an interesting process, and it was interesting to do those shows for the CBC, and then I did one. And so uh, this ended up on radio, or this ended up on television? Television. Hmm. And then I went out in the community. I was sent out by the Ontario Arts Council, I think, to Lac La Croix for to an Indian group, the inner city of Toronto, and Deer Park School in, Tor in Toronto, and worked for, oh, uh, perhaps a month in each place. And that was fascinating, absolutely fascinating. And you get, you know, so I came back and I did that. I worked uh, 
did uh, with Anna Palahimo, Elwi Yost had uh, there was a station that was um, like TVO. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they called it, but we did a, a series of six or eight programs for them.